Something that I noticed over the years is that when you're in the wheelchair, you're kind of just hovering over the ground and you really can't truly connect with people and humans. And um, being able to put my feet on the ground and take steps on it really makes me feel much more connected to humanity and reality. People with mobility disorders, they require machines, they require technologies to be upright and mobile and, and be included and work and, and do many, many things, be independent. SuitX is a company in Berkeley, California. The basic uh, thesis of SuitX to provide affordable exoskeletons for different markets, including medical applications, industrial applications, and so on. My name is uh, Jose Chavarria. I am a mechanical design engineer here at Sudex. When I came into the lab, they had this, uh, this Phoenix device that worked on one person, and it was two motors at the hip and a passive clutch at the knee, which is essentially a stance control orthotic at the knee um, that worked on one person. So then my goal was to make a universal device that allows many people who have a spinal cord injury um, make a device that really works for an array of people. One of the things we do is we, uh, we have people with mobility disorders in our facility. Steve Sanchez, he is not only our pilot, but also he has a lot to say about the design of the device. So that has been a great help to us. The Phoenix device is actually a very easy and intuitive device to use. One of the few devices out there um, are able to be put on by the user itself. It makes a real big difference uh, in the overall quality of the human being. If you, wanna, if you want a person to use this device, it has to be a product that they're going to love. Engineering is no more than a language for innovation. If there is no element of innovation, you really can't create much. And that is in SuitX we're creating together, a better quality of life with engineering. One of the design elements that I worked on here was the universal leg. How do you make it stiff enough or strong enough to be able to carry the person who is five foot tall that might weigh 200 pounds? And how do you make it carry, you know, behave the same way for someone who is six foot three and who weighs 220 pounds. A lot of iterations had to be made to, to really tune in on a device that works for that group of people. The thigh diameter is adjustable, the thigh length is adjustable, the tibia uh, length is adjustable, the tibia diameter is adjustable, the foot plate is adjustable. So, you know, the, the device gets really close to a custom device as possible. And the idea is that if you could find what works best for this person, then you could translate those futures over to a custom orthotic for a person. What really makes the biggest uh, standout is the natural motion that you feel. Uh, because only having two motors, your body's less robotic feeling. If we can hide that, uh, that roboticness to, to things, uh, we'll be able to implement this into the community much easier and it'll be more widely accepted uh, faster because now it doesn't really look like I'm Iron Man, it more looks like it's me who's walking. We are in the middle of doing clinical study for FDA. And uh, the whole idea is to actually bring those devices to people at low cost. Our price point is $30,000. That's what really sets our device apart is that it's, it's lighter, it's lightweight, and it's, and it's cheaper. It's more accessible to, the, to especially our, our, our community. I currently live a much happier life and healthier life because I get to stand up and use this device on a daily basis. I have gained a lot more confidence in myself. I've gained a personality that I cannot, you know, not even, I can't even fathom like who I am now. It's completely changed me. Uh, and that is also a goal for my, myself is to get this company to a point where we are able to give that opportunity to more people.